Workers for the Salvation Army are concerned for their safety after one of their clients tested positive for the coronavirus. We told you last night the person was sleeping in the same room with 19 others in the downtown homeless shelter. KXAN's Caitlin Carmuth spoke to the caseworker and shelter about what's being done to help keep people safe. We are obviously cleaning our sh three shelters, including the downtown shelter, uh, more often than we usually are. We're sanitizing all the beds. We're doing social distancing. We're making sure that people are, you know, abiding by the six foot rule. After someone at the shelter tested positive for COVID-19 Friday, caseworkers are saying more needs to be done. It just seems to be business as usual. It's not. There's no concern for the spread. We just have so many people in that shelter. They're concerned for their own safety person who tested positive was quarantined. I had spent well over an hour with him that day in face-to-face, -face, you know, meetings. She's now quarantined and so are the 19 others who were exposed to the virus. They slept in a dorm room with the person who tested positive. So the people who were in the dorm um, with this individual were asked to move into our safe sleep area and that is a very secluded area with, with multiple bathrooms, multiple restrooms, and that was the best way we were able to make sure that um, people weren't coming in contact with other people. These caseworkers say they're still meeting with clients face to face and they don't feel protected. They say those who use the shelter leave in the morning and come back at the end of the day. So far as of this um, afternoon, um, our supervisor was unable to give a direct answer as to whether or not they, we would still be required to meet face to face with clients. But as of two weeks, two to three weeks ago, when the Salvation Army came out with their policy to, about COVID-19, um, is when we stopped doing in-person uh, interactions with our clients. The Salvation Army says health and safety is their number one priority and they're continuing to work with the health department. Fortunately, this, this is a very uh, terrible situation that happened at the downtown shelter with this individual, and our thoughts and prayers are with this person and their family. Caitlin Carmuth, KXAN News. Well, the Salvation Army says they're still trying to identify who may have come in contact with this person. They do have a lockdown policy, and they have enacted their isolation unit protocol, meaning those who have come co into contact will quarantine for 14 days.